So you're thinking about making a move to Kirkland, Washington, but you have no idea where the perfect place to live is? Well, in this video, we're gonna be discussing everything that you need to know about living in Kirkland. In fact, we're gonna jump into my computer. I'm gonna pull up Google Maps. I'm gonna take you through all the areas, all the shops, the restaurants, the neighborhoods, you name it. By the time you're done watching this video, you're gonna be able to pick out a couple areas in Kirkland that you might like to live, but more importantly, there might be some places that you'll hate to live. So if you're ready to get started, let's jump into it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything about living, working, eating, playing in the city of Seattle, Washington and surrounding areas like Kirkland, then subscribe down below, tap that bell for notifications so you could be the first to learn about the current market here in Seattle. My name is David Sappenfield. The team and I, we get calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you looking for help to make their move to Seattle, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving next week or next year, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule that Zoom call. We're happy to help you make that smooth move to Seattle. So as I mentioned, we are going to be exploring Kirkland on the Google Maps today. So let's jump into the computer and get started. Okay, we have Kirkland pulled up on Google Maps. Uh, you'll see Kirkland with the red dotted line bordering its city limits there right in the middle of your screen. And Kirkland is located just on the east side of Lake Washington. Lake Washington is this big lake right here, this big body of water uh, that kind of separates the east side from the west side. Anytime you hear somebody in Seattle talking about east side, they will be referring to Kirkland, Redmond, Bellevue, these east side cities that are located east of Lake Washington. So just some kind of insider lingo there for you. But um, Kirkland is really uh, close to Redmond and downtown Bellevue. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're working in one of those two areas, maybe Microsoft, uh, you know, somewhere downtown Bellevue, really conveniently located, you can get into those two cities in about 10, 15 minutes, you know. Even when traffic is a little bit gnarly during rush hour traffic, you know, the commute is not that bad into Kirkland. Uh, you can get into downtown Seattle, probably about 20 to 25 minutes. Let me just kind of pull up some commute times for you real quick and I'll show you exactly what the commute times are, what your options are as far as travel. Uh, let's pull up downtown Seattle. Okay, so currently, uh, if you're going the 520 route, and this is the 520 bridge that crosses Lake Washington, looks like right now that's taking you about 18 minutes. Pretty typical with no traffic. Uh, if you have uh, you know, rush hour traffic, this route is probably gonna take you about 30 minutes, maybe 35, uh, but it, it's still gonna be relatively open because 520 is a toll bridge. You'll pay anywhere from like $1.25 during low traffic times all the way up to like $4.30 during rush hour traffic. So it's kind of a sliding scale as far as what they charge you to cross that bridge. Uh, but you do have another route, uh, another option to get into Seattle, and that would be just to head down 405 here. If you head down 405 until you hit Interstate 90, then you head westbound over Mercer Island and right into Seattle. And that option, when we're comparing between those two, it's usually only a three to five minute difference. However, when traffic starts to get a little bit heavier, this option is probably gonna add another 20, 25 minutes or so because usually traffic coming down here through Bellevue gets pretty bad and crossing I-90. That's typically what most people are gonna use to cross over the bridge because it's not a, uh, I-90 is not a toll bridge, so you don't pay a charge to cross over that. So 520 might be a good option for you if you're okay paying the toll and you need to get there quickly. So um, let's say maybe you travel a bit for work and you need to go to SeaTac Airport uh, every so often or on a regular basis. Let me look at the, some commute times at that for you. <clears throat> so yeah, we're looking 27 minutes to get into SeaTac Airport. 
Uh, <clears throat> if you're doing that during heavy traffic times, you're probably looking anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. A uh, couple of different options. You could just head straight down 405, which this option is showing you right here. Take you 27 minutes or jump across 520 or I-90 and that's going to add uh, another couple minutes for you. But a few different routes, a uh, few different options to get down to the airport. You also have the option of flying out of Payne Field, which is up in Everett, but Payne Field only flies to eight West Coast destinations, but the airport up there is a little bit more laid back. It's smaller, one terminal, um, but so sometimes you can get in and out of there easier, less stressful, but only flies to those eight West Coast destinations. So um, just keep that in mind. Okay, let's jump into Kirkland now. I want to take you around, show you kind of the areas where the shops are restaurants that you need to check out, go over the different neighborhoods that are located in Kirkland. So you'll look here, uh, we have we have Kirkland right in the middle and it's sort of bisected here by Interstate 405, which is the uh, main highway that runs north and south on the east side. So um, this runs kind of right, right through the middle of it. What we'll do is let's go ahead and cover the east side of 405 and then we'll work our way around to the west side and uh, down that way to kind of just cover all the areas of Kirkland, certain spots that you need to know about. But if we're looking here at the south end on the, the east side of, of the freeway here, you have what's called the Bridal Trails neighborhood, okay? So that kind of runs right here, all the way down here and it crosses over into Bellevue. So uh, Bridal Trails neighborhood is in Bellevue as well as Kirkland. And what you'll find in Bridal Trails are really beautiful, big homes. You'll see a lot of equestrian properties. So uh, if you board horses or you have uh, dreams of owning horses someday, you might be able to find a great spot in the Bridal Trails neighborhood. Uh, pretty pretty high end. It's definitely a uh, more expensive part of Kirkland, you know, just because of the, uh, just the size of the homes, the size of the lots that these homes are on, you're paying a premium for them, but a, a super, super nice part of Kirkland. And that's just kind of tucked away on the east side of 405 in the south end of Kirkland. Uh, but if we move a little bit further north, we run into the, the South Rose Hill neighborhood, and that kind of is uh, right here, just at the end of Bridal Trails, and covers um, all the way up to 85th, and 85th is kind of the main road that goes east and west. Uh, it will drop you down into downtown Kirkland, and then as you head west here, excuse me, east here, it turns into Redmond Way and will drop you right into downtown Redmond and, you know, kind of branches off. Uh, you can branch off into Microsoft, Nintendo area. So really easy to get around. Lots of different routes that you can take to avoid traffic. And, uh, you know, once you're here for a while, you kind of learn what streets to take, what streets to avoid. So, uh, but you have lots of options in this area, which is kind of nice and what makes it so attractive. Um, you have one of the two high schools in Kirkland is located in the South Rose Hill neighborhood, and that's Lake Washington High School right here. Uh, the other high school is Juanita High School, which is a little bit further north in the Juanita neighborhood. We'll get to that here in a minute. But um, but yeah, mostly mostly like residential homes all in this area here. Nice homes. Uh, you'll see just a lot of single family detached homes, not a lot of condos or apartment buildings, anything like that. So uh, you're, you're pretty much just going to find houses in that area. And then if we slide a little bit up here, this is 85th, kind of that main drag I was telling you about. Lots of different uh, shops, um, little, you know, Coffee, coffee stands, uh, restaurants, stuff like that. So you'll, you'll see a lot of stuff here on 85th and then Redmond Way. Uh, you actually have the first Costco that was ever uh, built is in Kirkland, which is located right here. This is, uh, this is Costco. Um, they also have a gas station, the Costco Gas. So, you know, usually with Costco Gas, you're paying the cheapest prices for good quality gas. Um, so having that 
that right here in this neighborhood is great because you don't have to travel far to get some decent gas, you know, decently priced gas. Um, one thing I want to point out to you is Mercury Coffee. Uh, if you enjoy drinking coffee, Mercury probably has the best quality, best tasting coffee around. Um, you know, there's a lot of good coffee places around here, but Mercury is uh, personally my favorite. Um, and there's a few different locations kind of scattered through the east side. But um, here's one right here in a Rose Hill neighborhood, which um, is is great if you like coffee. I would definitely recommend checking them out. Uh, and then kind of random, I know a car wash, uh, weird that we would pull that up, but this is a really good car wash, Rose Hill car wash. They uh, charge decent prices. You pay like 14 or 15 bucks and they really do a fantastic job of cleaning your car. It's almost like a mini detail. Um, it's, it's usually busy. If you go there on a sunny day, it's going to be backed up and kind of crazy, but uh, really a, a quality, uh, you know, kind of drive through uh, car wash place and they kind of wipe your car down, everything like that. It's, it's really a, a great spot. So, um, if we slide a little bit north here, there's, you know, and one thing, if you look at Kirkland as a whole here, let me pull up the city limits here again. But if you look at Kirkland as a whole, you can see all these green spots right here. These green spots and areas are parks, and you'll just notice how many parks uh, the city of Kirkland has, which is, you know, really great. Um, lots of lots of parks for you know families. Uh, really a great city to raise families in. Uh, you have several beachfront parks that you know have you know swimming docks, uh, access to Lake Washington. So really just a, a family friendly city and uh, just a, a, like I said, a great, great area to raise a family in. Um, but there's a, a big park right here and this is the North Rose Hill Woodlands Park, a uh, really big play structure, kind of like a castle. It looks really cool. You drive, you know, you can see it from the street as you drive by it. It looks, you know, looks pretty awesome. Kids love it. It's a, a nice big park here in that North Rose Hill uh, neighborhood. Um, you know, kind of the main road that runs through Rose Hill is this 124th right here. And, and again, pretty much mostly residential, uh, single family detached homes all scattered throughout here. You'll find a few townhomes, um, a, a few different apartment complexes, not a whole lot, but mostly you're going to find this, the detached single family homes in this North Rose Hill neighborhood. But uh, super convenient because you're uh, really close to freeway access. You have, you know, a couple different options. Oops, let me go back to my arrow here. A couple different options. You can get on 405 here at the 124th street exit or here at the 85th. So you're kind of right in between uh, and just really a, a great spot to commute from. Pretty, pretty easy to get in and out of uh, the Rose Hill area and get where you need to go. Um, so if we slide a little bit further north, let me pull up my city limits again here for you. If we go a little bit further north from this Rose Hill neighborhood, we run into the Totem Lake area, okay? And Totem Lake is mostly kind of just like a commercial uh, area, lots of shops, uh, restaurants. Uh, you'll see this kind of yellow highlighted area right here. This is all of Totem Lake, okay? And Totem Lake kind of spills over to the west side of 405 a little bit there. Um, but I just want to show you a couple cool spots here in the Totem Lake area. Um, this is a bunch of strip malls right here, just kind of random restaurants, um, teriyaki shops and stuff like that. So uh, lots of options down here. But as you go a little bit further north, uh, this area right here is called um, the the village at Totem Lake, okay? And this is a relatively new mixed-use development. I think it's been here for like two years now or so, you know, so it's pretty new. Uh, they have lots of different uh, restaurant options for you to eat at. There's uh, Trader Joe's, which is... Uh, like a high-end specialty grocery store. Uh, next to that, you have a Whole Foods market and shopping options for 
groceries, you have food options like restaurants. Uh, so lots of really, really good restaurants in this area. Uh, you have a, a Stack 571 burger and whiskey bar. That place is pretty good if you like burgers. Uh, if you're a pizza fan, Serious Pie is probably some of the best pizza that I've had in the area. Um, but just a, a bunch of different options they have for you. Let me kind of go into street view here, just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, there's a, a Cinemark XD theater, movie theater, uh, theater location right here. A really kind of a high end, really nice movie theater. Uh, this little this little building is a salt and straw. If you like ice cream, salt and straw has some really, really good ice cream. But yeah, you'll see kind of these um, taller buildings here, you know, kind of multi-story buildings. Above it, there is part apartment living, and then below it, all down here is like retail. So you have like a you know Lululemon. Um, there's a Nordstrom rack in there. So all kinds of shopping, all kinds of food options. Uh, there's a virtual reality place down here. I know there's a gym, you know, so you got kind of fitness options, just kind of hangout options, stuff to do like that. So um, just a, a really cool addition to the Kirkland area. And like I said, it's only a couple of years old. I think it was uh, opened up in 2021. So still really new, really fresh, um, just a, a really um, great part of town to, to go visit and, you know, hang out for a little bit. Um, but if we look just north of that, you'll run into the Evergreen um, Medical Center, which is, you know, the main hospital. So if you're in the healthcare industry, lots of different options, a lot of opportunity for you in this uh, Totem Lake area that, uh, you know, surrounding the hospital, there's all kinds of medical buildings, dental buildings, uh, everything you know, that you would, you know, be expecting in kind of that medical area. But uh, yeah, this is the main hospital right here. And again, really close to the freeway, good access, easy to jump on and off right there. So uh, yeah, just a, a cool part of town. But if we jump across um, the freeway here over to this other strip here, um, you know, just kind of a little strip mall you know, not a whole lot over here. Most of most of what you're going to need in Totem Lake is going to be across at the village at Totem Lake. But I wanted to point out one place that you should definitely know about, and that's this place right here, Mediterranean Kitchen. If you enjoy Greek food, like gyros, shawarma, stuff like that, Mediterranean Kitchen is probably the best Greek food that I've had in the entire Seattle area. So um, if you like that sort of thing, definitely check out Mediterranean Kitchen. It's just right across the freeway here off of the 124th Street exit. Uh, there's also a QFC, like a, a grocery store. Uh, if you want uh, more of a kind of a regular grocery store that's not like the Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, uh, you have the, the QFC right here. Okay, if we go a little bit north of the Totem Lake neighborhood, that's where we run into the Kingsgate neighborhood. So Kingsgate is pretty much this area right here, all the way up here. So Kingsgate is probably your most affordable part of Kirkland. Uh, you have a pretty good mix of single family detached homes, uh, condos, and quite a bit of apartment living options right here. So, so definitely more uh, a more affordable part of Kirkland to live in. Uh, there's, I'll show you kind of where the grocery store is at here. If you live in this area, you know, most of your shopping and stuff is going to be done right here. There's a, a Safeway grocery store. Uh, there's a Safeway fuel station right here. That's kind of nice because Safeway seems to always have really uh, reasonably priced gas as well. So um, you have, you know, kind of like this little strip mall here, you'll see. And uh, a little smaller, nothing too fancy like you have. But, you know, right up the street, you have that village at Totem Lake. So uh, that's that's really conveniently located to that. So pretty much you can just drop down into there if you, um, you know, didn't want to go shopping at Safeway or, you know, needed something in addition to that. You could just go to the village at Totem Lake. Um, 
across the street over here and you know i always let you know about where the good donuts are okay in kirkland if you want a good donut factory donuts is where you're gonna want to go so they're really good donuts uh i will warn you though the service is not the best okay they're um i won't say rude but i guess they're very um um, I don't know what to say. I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to offend anybody, but, um, it's not the best service. If you are a Seinfeld fan and you are familiar with the soup Nazi episode, I guess that's the closest thing I could compare it to when you go and buy donuts from this place. They're just kind of firm with you, which, yeah, it's okay. They, they offer some good donuts, which, uh, you know, Hey, it, sometimes that's the price you have to pay, but, uh, you know, I got you covered in the donut department and where you need to go for donuts and and that is at uh, Factory Donuts here in Kingsgate. Okay, so if we jump across 405 here and head to the, the west side of 405, that will put us in the, the North Juanita neighborhood. And uh, North Juanita is pretty much all residential, um, single family homes. You'll see some condos in there. Um, there's uh, the, the other high school I was mentioning, Juanita High School is right here. Um, so that's you know not too far off of the highway right there. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, not, um, it's, it's probably another more affordable part of Kirkland. So, you know, the further north in Kirkland you go, the more affordable the housing gets. Uh, the further south you go, it's definitely, um, you know, a, a lot more affluent the further south in Kirkland you go. But um, still really nice part of Kirkland. You have this North Juanita area. Uh, this section right here, this is where you're going to do all your shopping if you live in this Juanita area. Uh, there's a Safeway right here. Little strip mall, you have McDonald's, uh, a couple bars, uh, you know, teriyaki shops, stuff like that. That's all going to be right here. And uh, that's just in, in North Juanita. And if we head a little bit south of that, there you go. We have South Juanita. So, uh, again, very similar to North Juanita, um, mostly single family homes. You're going to have some condos sprinkled in there as well. But you have a really cool beach park in Juanita. Um, and that's this right here, Juanita Beach Park. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here and just kind of show you. Um, but it's, it's right on Lake Washington here. Yeah, it's kind of kind of blocked by some trees, but you have big grassy area, big sandy beach area, um, huge playground for the kids uh, across the street. You have tennis courts over here, baseball fields over here. Um, if you like fish and chips, there is a spud fish and chips right here which is incredible. Probably the best fish and chips in Seattle area that you can get are going to be right here. Super expensive, but worth it. If you, uh, you know, if you like that sort of thing, but a little bit north of that, you have another little shopping area here that a lot of the Juanita area, uh, residents will frequent, um, just lots of strip malls. Um, coffee shops, uh, barber shops, uh, Cafe Juanita. This is a really, really good restaurant. It's actually a, a James Beard award-winning restaurant, really kind of high-end, fancy, fancy food, uh, but really good. It's like Northern Italian. But like I said, James Beard award-winning restaurant. So uh, as you would expect, it's really, really good. Um, there's a, a Pagliacci's Pizza right here. Pagliacci's Pizza, oh, where'd it go? There it is. Pagliacci Pizza, that's a, a really good, kind of a little bit of higher end pizza option. They're kind of scattered throughout the Seattle area, but uh, that's really good. I, I really enjoy Pagliacci's. Uh, but let's let's slide over here a little bit. So if we head to the, the west of, you know, the Juanita area, this, this section right here is the the Finn Hill neighborhood of Kirkland and Finn Hill is a really really nice very quiet part of Kirkland you're a little bit further from highway access a little bit further from grocery stores or you know kind of any of those amenities that you're you're looking for so you're gonna have to travel a little bit more to get to places you want to go 
But the benefit of that is it's just a quiet, really family-friendly, great part of Kirkland. Um, let me kind of zoom in a little bit here and get rid of the marks on the screen. Um, lots of parks up here. You have big Fin Hill Park, and you'll see all these uh, green dotted lines. Lots of trails. Uh, this is a, a really cool part of, of Kirkland if you want to go walk these trails. Uh, it kind of connects up here into Bastyr and um, uh, St. Edwards Park. Lots more trails. This is actually Kenmore on the other side of Kirkland right here, but it's all kind of interconnected and uh, just miles and miles of cool trails. Um, there's another really cool trail that goes pretty much all the way through Kirkland, which is called the Cross Kirkland Corridor. And when we get down to that area, I'll kind of highlight that for you and show you. But the, the Cross Kirkland Corridor is like a five and three quarter mile uh, walking trail. It's all kind of, you know, it's a wide, just kind of gravel walking trail that you can, you know, go, like I said, five and three quarter miles. So uh, that's lots of uh, walking, hiking options for you in the Kirkland area. Um, but over here um, on the, you know, kind of on the, the shores of Lake Washington here, you have Holmes Point. And Holmes Point, uh, you have beautiful, beautiful homes in Holmes Point. Uh, just kind of drops down Fin Hill towards the shore here. Um, you're, you're really, you know, kind of secluded in the Holmes Point area. I mean, to get to any kind of grocery stores, and this is, you know, Fin Hill, as well as Holmes Point, you know, you're going to be in the same boat with these, but, you know, not a whole lot of shopping options if you live up in this area. You know, you have QFC right here, which is, you know, your your grocery store that's going to have all the grocery stuff that you need. But then you have a Safeway right here. Then your only other option is going to be over here. There's a QFC. So if you live in this area or even Holmes Point, I mean, you got to travel a little little ways to get to the store. So, you know, you better have your your meal plans and menus dialed in, and hopefully you only need to go to the store once a week or so because um, it's not very convenient. But Again, you get that privacy, you get the quietness. Um, it's a it, you know, still an awesome part, but if if I do hear some, you know, I've definitely helped a lot of people move into the Fin Hill Holmes Holmes Point area, and any you know any negative that I hear is just you know you just gotta travel a little bit, and you know that's okay if you're prepared for it and you're okay with that sort of thing. Okay, so if we head a little bit further south from Juanita, we run into probably some of the most expensive and kind of affluent real estate in the Kirkland area. So you have Market Street that runs right here, okay? It's north and south. It turns into Central as you get into downtown Kirkland. Oops, this way, Central, that way. And then it eventually turns into 85th. So um, Market Street, you have east of Market, right here and then you have west of market that's a horrible w <laughs> that's west of market right there so west of market is you know your most expensive real estate that you're going to find in kirkland is going to be west of market and we're looking you know two million plus you know up to multi-million dollar beautiful view homes uh just a, a really really nice part of kirkland um east of market you're also you know fantastic neighborhood, really, really um, high price point to get into that market as well. Uh, it's also called Norkirk, but a lot of people just call it east of market, west of market. And then if you um, look a little bit to the east of that, you have the Highlands neighborhood, which is right here. And Highlands is nice too, really you know, kind of secluded and you're, you're back here. Um, I, I guess one of the knocks or the things that I don't really like about the Highlands is if you live like over here, um, you know, the further north you go in the neighborhood, the further you have to travel because there's only one way in and out of that neighborhood if you're trying to get to like freeways and like highway access and that's to go all the way down to right here. So all these streets kind of funnel into this area and, you know, it just, 
I don't know, it just kind of seems like it's a little bit um, uh, annoying, I guess, to have to, you know, travel that that ways to, to get anywhere, but, you know, not too bad, you know, and it's only a couple minutes, so I'm just so spoiled with where I live, I'm like right there, right by the freeway, and um, so I guess my, uh, my bias on that <laughs> takes over a little bit sometimes, so um, not too bad, but just, just keep in mind, you know, if you're looking in that Highlands neighborhood, you know, there's just that one access point in and out if you're trying to get into Redmond or onto the freeway right there. But yeah, three really nice parts of Kirkland all right here. Um, but probably some of the highest expensive, most affluent real estate in Kirkland. Um, only probably compared to the Houghton neighborhood, which we're, we're going to get into here in a second. But um, if we go down a little bit, we have Heritage Park. Heritage Park, this is a really nice waterfront park, uh, kind of up on a bluff here above the water, uh, but really nice views of the lake. And uh, just, a you know, again, just one of those several beachfront parks that, that Kirkland has. That's a nice one. But we'll, we'll get into downtown Kirkland here, and this is kind of where it's all happening. This is where people come to visit. It's very, you know, very happening, very hopping on a sunny summer day. Um, so kind of like the, I guess, like the touristy part of Kirkland where people come and hang out. Uh, you know, you're right down here, you have the marina. So this is a marina park. Uh, it's right there on the water. Let me pull into my street view here and show you kind of a real look at it. So, yeah, you'll see it's right on the water, kind of have this little cove coming in here, sandy beach, grassy area, lots of benches to sit, people watch. And then you'll look back here. This is all the restaurants, all the shops that you can walk to, which is kind of over here in this area. But really nice park and uh, really busy on warm, sunny days. Uh, but there's a, a, lots of great restaurants, lots of great shops in this area. Uh, here's the Kirkland Flat Stick Pub. Uh, if you like beer and putt-putt golf, this is your place. It's, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, you know, miniature golf course set up indoors. Uh, yeah, just kind of a cool spot to go, play some putt-putt golf, have a couple beers. And uh, there's a cactus restaurant. Cactus, this is a really good, kind of like a Tex-Mex, uh, Southwestern Mexican restaurant. They have uh, lots of seating on their, um, not a deck, but just out front of the restaurant, outside seating. Uh, just, you know, kind of down this quiet street. Uh, really good food, just kind of a chill environment. Great happy hour spot to go grab happy hour, grab a couple cocktails and some good food. But, you know, lots of different shops, restaurants in this downtown area. Uh, if you're a fan of chicken wings, we have Wing Dome right here. They have, you know, some pretty solid wing selections, which are really good. Uh, and as we, you know, head up Central Way here, we, uh, oops, yeah, as we head up Central Way, we run into Emerald City Smoothie. This is um, a really good smoothie, you know, kind of the protein drink smoothies. You know, there's several Emerald City Smoothies in the Seattle area that you'll run into, and there's one right here off of Central Way. Um, but right across from that is Peter Kirk Park. So Peter Kirk Park is a um, big baseball complex. So uh, there's, you know, baseball field, there are tennis courts, there's a skate park, um, there's a pool right here. You have the Kirkland Public Library right here. But um, yeah, baseball, if you have kids that play baseball and you live in Kirkland, you're probably going to be spending some time at Peter Kirk Park in this area. But it's it's awesome because it's really walkable to all these other areas and uh, just a really, really convenient location for that. Okay, so if we look just next to Peter Kirk Park here, right on Central Way, there is a new development here, uh, kind of a mixed-use development, sort of like that village at Totem Lake. Uh, this one is uh, on a smaller scale, so not as many restaurants, not as much stuff to do, but still a really cool part of town. Um, there's a couple different Google offices located in there. You have, like I said, restaurants. You have a Dozone, which is great for dumplings 
things, kind of noodle dishes, that kind of Asian cuisine. Uh, you have a chain line brewing. So lots of breweries in the Seattle area. You'll probably notice that there's a lot of, uh, you know, coffee shops and breweries and like distilleries. And yeah, we, we, in you know, us people in Seattle love, love our beer and coffee. So You'll see a lot of a lot of that stuff all the way around anywhere you go. Um, there's a Shake Shack here in Kirkland, uh, right here in this Kirkland Urban Shake Shack. Really good hamburgers, fries, shakes, of course. And uh, but yeah, just lots of lots of different restaurants. You have a lounge by Top Golf. This is pretty cool. Not like the big driving range that you'll see at the you know some of the Top Golf locations like Vegas and even here in Renton. But this is uh, the lounge where they have kind of simulator bays set up where you can go in and rent these bays. Uh, it's a lounge where you you know can hang out, hit some balls. Uh, but you're heading into a kind of an impact screen right there. But still, cool place to go. Cool place to check out. And so if we slide a little bit further south from the downtown area, you're going to see a lot of condos, a lot of really nice high-end condos. You'll see some single family homes, of course, right there. But um, mostly in this area, you're going to see a lot of condominium living. A lot of them have view prop uh, views of Lake Washington. Uh, so really, really a beautiful part of Kirkland. Uh, definitely check that area out. So this this big green line here, this is that cross Kirkland corridor that I was telling you about. And what it is, is it's just a old rail line that has been like decommissioned. And then throughout Kirkland, they made it a walking trail, right? So five and three quarter mile gravel walking trail, but it pretty much spans all of Kirkland, you know, North and South. So uh, you can, well, you kind of lose the line, but it pretty much starts down here, runs all the way up into the Totem Lake neighborhood. So keep in mind um, that is available if you are a walker, jogger, you know, anything like that. This is a, a great spot for that. Um, so, yeah, as we slide a little bit further south here, this is where we get into the Houghton neighborhood. OK, so Houghton is a really quiet super nice affluent neighborhood a lot of single family homes you will see some condos in there uh, but Houghton is the home to Google's main campus so Google has you know several different locations here in the Seattle region but you know here at uh, uh, at their Kirkland campus this is their their main campus here in uh, in Kirkland so really nice part of town um, for People who live in the Houghton area, there's a little shopping center right here. Uh, you have strip malls. Uh, right here is a Metropolitan Market, which is, you know, a high-end grocery store, kind of like the Trader Joe's, the Whole Foods. Uh, but there's like a, a strip mall right here in this section that you can shop at. Uh, give you a little bit of a pro tip here for subs. If you like sandwiches and subs, check out Sarducci's. They are really, really good. They have, you know, probably the best bread for any kind of sub uh, that I've had around here. I feel like bread is what separates a good sandwich from others because, you know, that's, you know, pretty much everything else is the same. But if you have some good bread, you're going to be on top. And Sarducci's is really, really good. So if you like subs, go check that out. Uh, but yeah, that's in that Houghton neighborhood right here. And Houghton kind of runs, you know, this is kind of that south edge of Kirkland. Let me pull up the border here. So we have, you know, Houghton that pretty much runs all the way down until Bellevue and up until you get into the downtown area of Kirkland. But a lot of really nice high end homes, view homes quiet part of town, like I was saying, but, um, Houghton is fantastic. Yeah. Probably, you know, one of my favorite parts of Kirkland, you know, it's kind of less touristy. You don't get the, you don't get the tourist activity and the, the crazy hustle and bustle of the downtown area, but you're still really close to it and you can still, you know, just head down the hill and you're right there. And Houghton's, you know, located right above kind of the, the Kirkland waterfront. You'll see right here you have uh, Lake Street that runs from downtown Kirkland and then eventually turns into Lake Washington Boulevard right here. But there are lots of really cool parks. 
uh, lots of restaurants, cafes, burger stands, but you'll see there are, you know, a few different, couple different parks right here on the waterfront, which all have like big grassy areas. Uh, this Doris Cooper Park, they have volleyball courts, um, sandy beach areas, but, um, you know, park benches to just sit, enjoy the scenery of Lake Washington. And, um, but yeah, this whole strip right here on a, you know, sunny summer day, you know, it's fun to go down there, walk along the water, grab some lunch at one of the restaurants there. And, um, it's, it's just a, a really chill, relaxed part of Kirkland. All right, pretty extensive overview of the Kirkland map tour there. Hope you found that helpful, informative. Uh, but yeah, just remember, hey, if you're making a move to the Seattle area, you know, whether it's next week, next year, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom call. We're happy to help you make that smooth move to Seattle. And you know, if you're watching this far, you're probably super interested in moving to either Kirkland or one of the Seattle suburbs. And you know, watch this video that's popping up in the screen right here to get way more information on the Seattle area. So until next time, take care. See you around.